You've learned about leads, people, and companies, and you've created a record and converted a lead. Now, let's dive into opportunity records deeper. As you recall from our day in the life of a user demo, the person nurturing opportunities in your workflow might not be the same person who nurtures leads. This person who moves opportunities might be an account executive who takes over once the lead is converted into a person. Or the same sales development rep who nurtured the lead might continue to nurture it once the lead becomes a person. To recap, opportunities are a business deal typically associated with a financial value. In a typical sales workflow, this might be a few licenses of your software or a few units of whatever you sell. You may not associate opportunities with a value at all. If you're a recruiting firm, for example, the pipeline is one when you place a candidate in a job. You move opportunities through the stages of your business process until you win or lose them. This multi-stage process is known as a pipeline. Some Copper customers prefer to use our software for contact management, and opportunities and pipelines never even become a part of the workflow. However, the majority of our customers use a pipeline to manage some business process, so let's explore it. Here is an example of a sales pipeline. You enter the opportunity into the pipeline once the associated person record has been qualified as the result of lead conversion. You move the opportunity to the follow-up stage when you've reached back out to the customer to reopen that transaction. You move to the demo stage when you've scheduled time to show them your product. You move your opportunity to the send contract stage when the customer is ready to commit. Now at this point, you might win the opportunity. But alternatively, you might move to the negotiation stage if the customer wants to work their own concessions into the contract or try to get a lower price. I mentioned the opportunity can be won at a certain point, but it can also be lost or abandoned. To understand how all this happens, I'll demonstrate moving an opportunity through the pipeline. First, click Opportunities from the left-hand menu. Then click Add New. Name your opportunity and set a primary contact. Fill in any other optional fields you like. Then click Save. Return to the Opportunities page. As I move this opportunity, watch the monetary value of the stage increase. This is adding the monetary value of this opportunity to the value of all other opportunities in this stage. You can report on this later. Now you give it a try. When you set an opportunity as one, it means the business deal was closed successfully. The close date, which you originally set as a projection, can now be changed to the current day to show when the deal actually closed. The related person or company record can be turned into a current customer. Let's explore what we mean by current customer in more detail. There exists a field on person or company records called contact type. This lets you indicate to Copper where you stand with that person or company. By default, the options in the dropdown are potential customer, current customer, or other. Your administrator may choose to add additional contact types, but current customer is always the default when you close out an opportunity. Let's take a look at how to win an opportunity. Open your pipeline, then drag an opportunity from its final stage and drop it on the one button. Note the option to change their contact type to a current customer and set the close date to today. When you drag an opportunity to lost instead of one, it means the business deal has been canceled. You'd move it to lost if there was a finite reason you and the contact are not going to do business. Maybe they went with a competitor or simply decided not to move forward, but typically a customer is the one who lets you know the deal is lost. As with a one opportunity, you can adjust the close date field to today's date when marking it as lost. You can also add a loss reason with notes as to why you lost the deal. Let's take a look at loss reasons in a little more detail. This field lives on opportunity records and is intended to be filled out if and when you lose the opportunity. The available values in this field are no loss reason, competitor, features, or price. As you can see, there's an additional field called budgets change. This is a custom loss reason I added to my own account. Your administrator might add some custom loss reasons as well. When you fill out a loss reason after losing an opportunity, it's sent to a loss reasons report that helps your manager determine major contributors to the loss of business deals. 
In addition to winning and losing opportunities, there might be a gray area in the middle. Or there are times when you may just need to put a business deal on hold indefinitely. You'd move a deal to the abandoned category if it's just not going to move forward right now. Often this is an internal decision, such as the customer not being a good fit for your business, or maybe the customer's situation changed and they've lost funding, but they might come back to you in the future if they get budget reallocation. When you drag an opportunity to the abandoned box, you can leave notes to indicate why it was put on hold. Later on, you can filter a list of opportunities for just those that have been marked abandoned if you need to pick one up or check back in. We'll learn how to filter a list of records later in this course, but let's take a look at this in action. Open your pipeline, then drag an opportunity to the abandoned button. Next, add a note as to why it's abandoned. Let's pull it all together and recap what we've learned so far. In a use case that utilizes all record types, you'd start by creating a lead. When you convert the lead to a person record, it might have a company associated with it. The person might also have an opportunity associated with them. You move the opportunity through the stages of your pipeline until it is marked as one, lost, or abandoned. This is the standard, typical, repeatable process in a copper workflow. To keep yourself organized and to keep the workflow moving, you'll want tools to help manage your time and leave a paper trail of how you spend it.